Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, you guys. I want to do an update on the whole Wendy Williams situation. So if you guys do not know, a week after she had filed divorce, um, a spokesperson for the Wendy Williams show is now confirming with people and other outlets that basically Kevin Hunter is no longer an executive producer of the Wendy Williams daily talk show. So he's been booted. And since then, Wendy Williams has hired top flight security. Um, even before she handed him the divorce papers, she made sure to have security on her show and also at the home so that way Kevin couldn't do anything to her. So she's definitely beefed up security and she's going to keep security with her at all times for the time being. But now what's even crazier is this. It's now being announced um, exclusively by Bossup. They're saying that even though Kevin agreed to, you know, walk away and walk out the door, he's not leaving without some damn big bucks, okay? They're saying that Kevin will receive a $10 million payout to go away quietly. Now, that's just from him leaving the show. That does not, you know, mean anything as far as the divorce or, you know, assets or things that they share. But that's for him to walk away from the show. As we all know, earlier this week, Kevin um, ended up apologizing to Wendy. But I think he only apologized hoping that he could save his damn job with the show. And being that he was unable to do so, they basically negotiated him to walk away with $10 million. Now, a lot of people are upset. They're screaming five. But what you guys need to realize is that regardless if you like Kevin or not, regardless if he's a damn cheating dog and a side baby maker, at the end of the day, he helped create the whole Wendy Williams brand. He did. He was there from day one. He was there running things behind the scenes. Wendy's the forefront of the brand. Kevin ran everything behind the scenes, okay? So he wasn't going to walk away without a damn bag, especially with something that he helped to create. So he's definitely not going to walk away, you know, scot-free without any type of money, especially being that he helped create the show, helped pitch it. And they have a lot of other production deals um, with each other. So it's going to be a tangly, tangly mess because they have other things in the works that's through their production company as a couple. So I don't know what they're going to do with those assets or if he's going to continue working on the things that he has going on on the back end or if, you know, Wendy's just going to take it over because she doesn't really do too much of the back end stuff. She's just more the face of the brand. He does a lot of that behind the scenes production stuff, producing shows and different stuff that he does out outside of the Wendy Williams brand, okay? Gonna Even though I don't like him, I don't like what he's done to her, I'm never gonna say that he doesn't deserve his bag because, again, he helped create the show. So I don't care if that's somebody that's her husband or a business partner. People part ways all the time. He definitely deserves something, being that he helped, you know, jumpstart everything, and he's been there from day one. Now, if Sharina, the damn side chick, was smart, what she would do, in the event that he doesn't want to be with her and help take care of the baby, she may want to run and go get some damn child support, you know what I'm saying, and then get somebody closer to her age you know this whole situation is a mess but it's really got me asking myself okay the whole thing with the whole Charlemagne, wendy um kelvin kevin hunter and sharina it just it just does not sit well with me something just does not make sense um if you guys don't know a few weeks ago he was speaking to page six and Charlemagne says this Charlemagne tells page six that he and sharina were longtime friends in their hometown of Columbia, South Carolina. When Charlemagne moved to New York to work for Wendy, Sharina moved with him. They both shared a rent-free condominium that was owned by Kevin in Fort Lee, New Jersey. Kevin paid for classes for Sharina to get her masseuse license. She was apparently a high school student at the time. Charlemagne says he believes Kevin hoped to have an affair with the teenager back then. Kevin was unusually possessive of the teenager and furious with him for introducing her to other men. Mind you, Kevin was married to Wendy at the time, he said. Kevin ultimately fired Charlemagne from Wendy's show, telling him not to contact Wendy anymore and allegedly threatening Charlemagne with bodily harm. Kevin has literally gone out of his way to stop my livelihood and to cut my head off and stop me from other jobs. He has done this a couple of times. Kevin has definitely gotten a couple cease and desist letters from my attorney. Now, like I said, what, what I just find funny with this whole situation and somewhat, you know, troubling is the fact I can't get over how young Sharina was when all this began. She was in high school being financed by a grown-ass man, Kevin, a.k.a. Kelvin, whatever the hell his name is, living in an apartment in New Jersey. So my thing is, where were her parents in all of this? I mean, all this sounds like some weird R. Kelly-ass, you know, industry bullshit, okay? And also at the time, for the most part, Charlemagne was grown as hell. So why was Charlemagne best friends with this high school girl and they're living in this apartment together? So I feel like there's a lot of shit in the mix. 
I feel like there's a lot more to this story. Honey, I'm going to just sit back and just sip my damn tea because don't none of this shit make no damn sense to me. And I also feel like Charlemagne is the one sending all this information to the Daily Mail. A lot of the things that he stated on his Brilliant Idiots podcast have been things that only an insider would know. And then when he would talk about it, I'm like, okay, that's the same thing that this so-called insider was telling the Daily Mail. So I definitely feel like Charlemagne has a hand in a lot of this stuff coming out because he knows all the parties involved. And you know, there's nothing like sweet revenge, I guess. You know, so the whole situation is just really, really unnerving because Sharina is still relatively young and you figure she's been in this relationship with this man for well over a decade. You know, so something ain't cleaning the buttermilk, bitch. But, you know, again, that's just me. That's just my tin hat tingling. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, honey, concerning Wendy Williams, Kevin Hunter, Charlemagne the God, and Sharina Hudson. Let me know your thoughts. All right.